Hi guys, Ashley with Ash Cash Budget here, and I just tried to clean underneath my screen protector. I think I made it worse. Anyways, so we are setting up. This is our September budget prep, and so we're gonna fill in what all of my bills up here since this is from the previous month I like to use those spaces and we're I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I do with my every dollar app as well um, hopefully you can see it if there's some problems we'll try to figure out a different way but as far as screen capturing and stuff my computer is just so slow and I usually use the app anyways and not the computer but we'll try to figure this out so going back to the previous month, I'm just going to pull some numbers and items from there. On this side, I put my own personal um, bills and here in this slot, we'll put the household bills. So on the 15th, that's the first one from my personal, it's insurance, that's my car insurance, and it's $105. And actually, I got to check on that because it just renewed. So I have to see if it's still $105 or if it changed at all, but usually it's $105. Uh, it's, if it's because I'm through my mom's insurance and she just takes back the money, I give her back the money for my portion. So that's why I have to check up on that. On the 20th is my Discover card, minimum of $85 on the 21st is, or the 20th, let's move that up to the right spot, is my credit union loan. This is my lowest on my debt snowball. So the minimum, I put in the minimum of 9408, but my debt snowball is amount is 290. That's the amount that I would like to try to reach is 290, which is my debt snowball of 240 plus an extra 50 that I like to put through there. But in case I don't make enough, I put 9408, just in case. On the 21st is my Fed loan, my student loans, and the minimum for that is $130. Next on the 21st would have been my care credit. So it's at $0. Paid that off. And then on the 4th, was my visa, which was also paid off, cost that off of there. I don't know, when should I start taking it off? I probably should just take it off of my list now. I just like that little friendly reminder, but I kept those ones to the curb. On the sixth is my phone, 9922. Now this is the 6th of October, but this and my Capital One, which is due on the 8th, cap one. I include these two as like the previous month's one because sometimes I'm not like this. Uh, my first paycheck is on the 7th. I wouldn't have been able to pay my phone. So that is all included in September's and then November's will be in October, etc, etc. Et you know, so that's just part of that. That's why we have the 15th here and then we have the 6th down here because it's the 6th and 8th of the next month. So right here, we'll do the, the household bills. Let's see, we have on the 28th is CenturyLink. I'll wait to get that bill. On the 1st is rent, which is $850, half of which is 200, I mean, sorry, 425. On the four, I put half amounts because I split these costs with my boyfriend. So on the 14th, and that's the 14th of October, but I still include it as September, is electric. Wait for that bill to come in. And these usually come in around the 20th or so. Um, the 13th is city. I'll wait for that to come in. I put a little line. And on the first, I also pay my health insurance, which is actually 200 minus 50 that the boyfriend covers for me and I owe him 150. So basically 
all these for all the household bills come out of my account, right? So he then owes me half of all of those minus the 150 that I'd be paying him back essentially for insurance because I am on his insurance plan. So there it is. That's all the stuff set up. I messed up here when I filled it in like at the beginning of the year for my paychecks. So, oops. Um, but my paycheck should be on the 7th and on the 21st. And my church checks, let me look at this. They've just changed it. It used to be like, you know, the 15th and the 31st, but now it's every two weeks. So the 27th was the last time. So the 3rd, the 10th is when I'll get it. UUMC. They actually cut it sometime during the week, but... I just pick them up on the next Sunday. So like I turn in my our hours on this Monday, they do payroll Tuesday, they cut it Wednesday or Thursday, and then I just pick it up on Sunday. You know, it's just easier for me. I could go into the office if I needed it, but I just make my my grocery budget kind of work around that. So I'd like you to show you a little bit of my every dollar app. So what I do at the beginning of the month is I go here. It's already September, so I already did it. I use it quite frequently, and I like to update it and continue to look at it. I think it really helps in planning my budget. But say if I go to October, it'll tell you, hey there, looks like you need a budget for October. Create October budget. We'll cover copy September's budget to get you started. So every month I just do that and I copy the previous one. It's a good starting point for me because it has a lot. My bills are usually the same. I just need to adjust numbers. So here I have SCA1, SCA2. Those are my checks, my first check and my second check. You know, I get paid every two weeks. There are rare months where I get three. So I'll just add another line item there if I have a third check or if I have anything else coming in. I will add it in but usually it's just these two checks and then what my boyfriend gives me at the end of the month now this amount here is the full half of our household bills it does not subtract the 150 because i include that as as one of my bills in here i hope if you need some clarification on that i'll try to explain it better sorry the phone is a little sensitive so going down, now they have a spot, they have giving, they have a spot for savings, your emergency fund and sinking fund. Right now I am not working on those, but this month I am going to try to start a moving fund. So this will be another month where I'm not going to put any amount in there right Well, yeah, I'm not going to put an amount in there right now because I'm already over budget as you can see. Now let me talk about this. The moving fund, my lease is up in October and I just don't know what's what's gonna be what. It might still be quite many months, but I think I need to start saving for that because it can be quite expensive to move, you know, down payment, first like first month's rent, all of that stuff. So that's actually kind of my goal now. I know I've been working on sinking funds a lot and this is gonna be another sinking fund I'm working on and not putting towards my debt snowball, but it's really important that I'm trying to cash flow these things instead of taking debt as was my previous MO. That's what I used to do, take debt to do things like moving and such. So that is my goal this month, so that's there. Let's talk about this. I'm estimating what I'm getting paid. I just kind of estimate the hours. There's a lot of times where I estimate pretty low, but that's just because I want to be safe. Now, I'm getting close to the end of the pay period for this. The pay period ends this Sunday, like in just like two days now. So I'm pretty well rounded on, I'm gonna get about 925. And that's just the low estimate. That might not include overtime or sometimes I get a couple extra hours that I didn't because sometimes they pay for minimums minimum hours and so I might get an extra hour or two here that, or there that I did not account for so it's usually at least this amount or more so I've estimated 925 for the first one 
Now for the second one, based off of the hours that I see, I'm only guesstimating 600, but there's huge potential for that to go up to be about the same amount as my first one. So right now it does say I'm 182 over budget, but because of my irregular income, I'm sure I can make up that 182 within that second paycheck. I just have to see how the hours are going and then I'll start adjusting my budget based off of that. So I can't really, right now my numbers are staying as is unless I get a way lot more, which I doubt it for the first one, or once this starts changing, I might be able to add in a couple of other places. So that means, well, I'll get down to it. So that means my cash envelope will be a little less. So here, housing, it just pulls it over from the previous month. So rent is 850. City last month was 69.64. So as soon as I get that, I just update it. Same with electricity, it was 96.99. My phone usually stays the same at 99.22. The cable might change, 180.72. I think I might have, I tried to get some discounts, so that might be changing. But I'll update those ones that change when I get the, uh, the bills. Transportation. Now, usually I try to put $90 per paycheck if I'm making enough, and depending on how much I'm running around. But since my paychecks are going to be a little lower so far, I'm planning on 60 per paycheck. So I'll definitely do 60 the first paycheck, but if I get a good amount more the second paycheck, I can bump that up. I'll change it to 150, which would mean 90 from one and 60 from the other. I hope that makes sense. So I adjust it based on how my hours are going for the month. I Car replacement, I've just left that there. That was one of the things that they've included Restaurants, I've just left that there. It's just one of the main ones they included, but I don't have a restaurant fund. I do have groceries, but because of my low income this month so far, I've planned zero, zero dollars contribution. Because as I've said, I get the grocery and household income, like cash envelopes from the church check. So this is just supplemental. When I can, I put an extra 40 per paycheck. This month, nothing so far. These here are mostly my cash envelopes, just so I know how much I pull out for each one. Now they are split into two most of the time, so pet care says 40, so it would be 20 from each paycheck. Clothing got cut out of the equation unless I make more money, so zero dollars. Medical is one of my top ones, so 40 dollars, 20 per paycheck. Personal, it got cut in half from 200 to just 100 based off of the low income, so 50 per paycheck. Zero dollars for blow money, unless I make more. So nothing for walking around money. Twenty dollars per paycheck for hair, forty dollars. Zero dollars towards household. Then I have my insurance here. Health insurance, 150. Auto insurance, 105. My debts here, my loan, 9408. Capital One, 105. Discover 85 and Fed Loan 130. So those are just my minimums at the moment unless I make more and can make the snowball amount. And here I have my Visa and Care Credit that I paid off at zero dollars just because I like to see that. So I hope you guys could see this okay and I hope it all makes sense. Maybe I can explain to you a little bit more but I use these both together. I use this to help me form, I use the Every Dollar app to help me for my budget and then I use this as a running total to know how much I have in my account. So I hope you enjoy and I'll leave the buttons up above again so that you can subscribe and watch another video suggested for you by YouTube and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!